Today we'll be sewing the Calo shirt. All sections are timestamped below for your reference. Before we start this tutorial, you'll want to have all of your pattern pieces uh, cut and ready to go. You'll want to have the pieces fused, notched, and marked. So a few tools that'll come in handy while you're sewing will be the awl. You'll need a box of pins a chalk pencil or fabric marker, a ruler, you'll need a pair of scissors, you'll need some thread trimmers, sewing tweezers, and a stitch ripper. So I like to serge as I sew, but if you prefer serging beforehand, you're going to want to serge uh, the armholes on the front, back, and sleeve panel, as well as the shoulder areas on the front, back, and uh, facing area, as well as the side seams on all pieces and around uh, both back and front facing. If you're going to be serging as you sew, you'll still want to serge around the facing areas. So I like to prep before I sew, it just makes things a little bit faster. Here I have part of my sleeve placket, so I'm folding one edge down by half an inch. I'm going to do the same for the other side, and then I'm going to fold it in half. do the same for both pieces. Now I have my other placket piece, so I'm folding it on the tallest edge by half an inch. And then I'm going to fold it all the way over, just leaving a half an inch visible. I'm going to press that, and then I'm going to roll over that half inch and press it as well. Now I'm going to uh, press that down at a half inch on the angle there and the other edge as well. Now I'm taking my cuff piece and I'm pressing that edge at a half an inch. I'm going to do the same for the opposite edge and then I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to repeat the same for the other cuff as well. So now I've got my back panel and I'm working on the hem here and I'm rolling up at a quarter inch on the wrong side of the fabric and then I'm going to roll it up again another quarter inch creating the half inch hem allowance. Now I've taken my front panel and I'm doing the exact same thing on the wrong side. I'm rolling up at a quarter inch and then I'm going to roll it again at another quarter inch and I'm going to repeat the same on the other front panel as well. Thank you. 
and we're going to start by sewing the facing. So we're attaching the back facing piece to one of the front pieces at the shoulder and we're sewing it at a half inch. And we're going to do the same for the opposite side as well. Now we're going to attach our shoulders and side seams. So we're going to need both our front panels and our back panel. So right sides together, front panel facing back panel. I'm going to sew this seam at a half inch. So all the way up to the armhole. And now I'm going to show, sew my uh, shoulder seam at a half inch as well. And this is right sides together. And I'm going to repeat the same on the opposite side as well. Now I'm going to search those seams and we're going to press them out. So I'm just pressing out the shoulder seam on the facing. Now I'm going to press out the side seam and uh, shoulder seam as well. If you're a newbie to sewing, be careful when you're pressing it out um, at the armhole and the neck line because uh, those areas are cut on a bias. It's really easy to stretch them out. Um, if you don't feel confident that you know you won't stretch them out, you can always stay stitch those areas um, I sometimes if I'm working with really delicate fab fabric will do it on pants too at the waistline and um, you would just use your sewing machine to sew around that edge at an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch anything uh, within the seam allowance so now we're gonna work on our sleeve placket and cuff so we're gonna need our sleeve panels and our uh, cuff as well as our placket pieces. So we are aligning the rectangular piece uh, to the edge of the um, placket marking. And uh, a good sort of tip is to uh, always line it up on the back side of the um, of the sleeve uh, and closest to the sleeve seam. So here I'm sewing it at a half inch on the right side of the fabric, so right sides facing, and I'm stopping my stitch right at the end of that uh, chalk marking that you can see. And if you've watched any of my other videos where I'm sewing a placket, um, you don't need to use this sewing arm. You can use a uh, fabric marker uh, to just kind of etch in that 
crease area at the half inch if it makes it easier for you to sew it. So here I'm going to be sewing right from that crease where the angle starts on that straight edge. I'm starting right there and I'm lining my piece up to that white chalk line that you can see for the slit and I'm sewing it a half inch all the way down. So now I'm going to cut the center of that. So I'm going to cut all the way up the center. And I'm just changing my foot here to an edge stitch foot. So we're going to cut all the way up the center. And we're going to stop a half inch from the shortest stitch line. And then we're going to cut on a diagonal to that right to the stitch. And then parallel to that another diagonal stitch. So now we're taking that pre-pressed piece and we're going to roll it over that cut slit that we just created on the one side, sealing that edge. And I'm just edge stitching it right from the top all the way down to the wrist. the same for the opposite side so we're rolling that pre-pressed piece over that slit that we just created and I'm gonna be sewing it I'm gonna be edge stitching this and I'm feeling for that folded piece underneath because it is shorter so I'm just sewing to that edge I'm going to turn this over and you'll see that that piece that we created forms a little triangle there and we're just going to push it in. So we're going to tuck it in to create a really nice straight line. So here I'm just using my tweezers to make sure it's nice and neat. And then we're going to turn it over back to the right side. I've got my finger on top of where we're creating, we're going to seal that uh, edge. And we're starting from the edge there. We're sewing uh, across just to the edge stitch that we created on that piece. And then we're gonna go all the way around. That top edge. Sorry for the blurry camera, it's the autofocus. using my tweezers to make sure that everything is nicely tucked in to that little area so that my pocket looks nice and dry. And I'm coming back down. I'm going to stop where I started, pivot, and just go over a few stitches to create a natural tack. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now I'm putting my regular walking foot back on and I'm going to sew the sleeve seam. So this is right sides together and we're sewing at a half inch. And you're gonna wanna repeat this process that we just did for the placket and sleeve seam on the opposite uh, sleeve as well. Right, now we're gonna wanna serge that sleeve seam and we're gonna wanna press it out. So I don't have a sleeve arm uh, for pressing. Uh, so what I'm doing here is in order not to crease the edges, um, I'm just using the tip of my iron and running it um, across. So here I'm just spreading the fabric.
Great, now we're gonna attach our cuff to the sleeve. So you'll see there's um, some notches, it's a half inch notch. So you're gonna start at your notch, you're gonna align your cuff at the notch to the edge of the placket, right sides together, and you're gonna sew the placket on at a half inch. And you should have another half inch on the opposite side, so you're going to stop at the edge of the placket there. And now I'm just sealing those edges, so I've folded the cuff in the opposite direction, so it's right sides together. And I'm sewing down at a half inch, so here I'm using a zipper foot because I want to get really nice and close to that placket edge. And I'm gonna do this for the opposite side as well, but I'm also gonna trim the excess off and kind of clip the corners at an angle so that I can get a really nice corner. And I'm making sure that I'm aligning my placket nice and straight. So if you've managed to somehow have a bit of excess um, on the fabric there, don't worry about it. Just sew right from the edge of the placket up and try to get a nice straight line. So there I'm just trimming the excess and clipping that corner. And I'm going to repeat on the opposite side. So now we're going to press out those seams. So I'm using my tweezers to just turn out that corner. And I'm using my fingers to sort of roll it out as well. There we go, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the same for the opposite side. So now we're gonna sew the placket, we're gonna finish it. So here I'm just edge stitching uh, on the placket side and I'm just gonna stitch all the way along that seam line. Now if you don't want to see a uh, stitch line on the top of your cuff, you can always do um, stitch in the ditch the way we sort of would do a waistband. So there's no visible um, uh, stitching on the outside but on the inside you can see a visible line. So now we're going to attach the facing to the body so you'll need your bodice uh, front and back attached and your attached facings. So I'm starting right at the bottom of the hemline and I'm sewing at a half inch right sides together. So I'm pivoting there at a half inch. So I'm making sure to match my shoulder seams. Thank you. 
great now we're gonna press out these seams so what I'm doing here is I'm clipping the corner uh, and I'm gonna cut all the way around that neckline reducing it down to about an eighth of an inch because it's a curve we want to make sure it turns out really nicely you can cut it down to a quarter inch too um, whichever you prefer So here I'm just laying the fabric really nice and flat around the neckline and pressing it out. So I'm just using my fingers to roll that seam forward. Now I'm going to edge stitch um, that whole placket area. So I'm starting at the hem and I'm going to go all the way around. So here I'm using a 1 16th of an inch uh, edge stitch foot, but um, you don't need to use one of these. You can certainly use your walking foot, your regular walking foot and edge stitch this. Now if you wanted this shirt to look a little bit more casual, you could also do a top stitch. finishing this up by going all the way down on the other side. And now we're going to attach the armholes, so the sleeves that we've prepared to the bodice that we already have. So with my bodice turned inside out and my sleeve right side, I'm matching the sleeve seam to the um, uh, uh, bodice seam. And now I'm matching the front notches on both the sleeve and the uh, bodice, back notches. And then I'll match the top sleeve notch to the shoulder knot. Perfect. So when we're sewing this, it's actually right sides together, um, the way we pinned it. And I like to always start at the side seam. So I'm sewing at a half inch here, making sure my fabric is nice and flat. Thank you. 
and you can take your time here don't feel like you need to like brush through it um, especially when you're sewing two curves together um, you're gonna need to really sort of manipulate that fabric um, to make sure that you don't get any pleats or puckers To get back to the side seam I'm just gonna go over it a few stitches to create a natural uh, tack you can back tack it as well so I'm gonna do that to both sides and then I'm gonna surge the armhole seams and press them out so I didn't do that on camera but now we're gonna get started with the hem um, so I have my pre-pressed hem there and I'm at st edge stitching using my 1 16th of an inch um, foot and I'm edge stitching on the wrong side of the fabric so that I can use that rolled edge as my reference. Making sure to match your side seams uh, with the roll, making sure that they're aligned so that you don't get any twisting in the hem area. Just making sure that I'm clipping any threads that might kind of be poking out there of that um, the hem seam. And that's the end of our tutorial today. I hope you found it helpful.